In this video, we will go over a nodal analysis example. I already have the circuit drawn for this example. I have a 5 volt source that's connected to a network of resistors. I have already labeled nodes A, B, C, and ground. So I've already made this bottom node as my reference node and I have associated zero volts with it. And I have a few resistor values. Well, all the resistor values that are provided to me, one kilo ohms, two kilo ohms, and so on. Uh, I've highlighted the nodes and labeled them with their voltages V, A, V, B, V, C. Uh, let me also assign this particular node as 5 volts because it is going to be 5 volts with respect to ground. Um, and my goal in this video is to apply nodal analysis to find nodal voltages A, V, A, V, B, and V, C. In order to do that, I am going to use Kirchhoff's current law and I have three essential nodes in this example. A, B, and C. So I'm going to apply KCL at each of these nodes to obtain three linear equations and I'm going to use uh, either MATLAB or uh, calculations by hand to solve those linear equations to find my unknowns which in this case are the no three nodal voltages. So let's first apply Kirchhoff's current law at node A. So KCL at node A. Now as I pointed out in the earlier video, I'm assuming that all the currents are going out of every node. So just for node A, let me call these I1, I2, I3 and if you do this for the other nodes, you will not have to label them. For all, for all you will see a pattern. So for node A, I have I1, which I can find as VA minus 5 divided by 1 kilo ohm, or I, I'll just write 1000 to make it easy. So I got I1 as VA minus 5 divided by 1000 and I'm assuming that uh, current is entering the positive terminal here and the voltage drop is that way. Next I need I2. I2 is going to be VA minus VB divided by 2000. So that's that VA minus VB divided by 2000. Then I have I3, which is VA minus VC divided by 2000 again. And that equals zero. Sum of all the currents leaving the node equals zero. Um, I'm gonna simplify this later on, but I'll move on with KCL at node B. So now I'm going to be applying KCL at node B. I'm assuming that all the currents are going out. I'm going to get a similar linear equation. So for VB, I say VB minus VA divided by 2000. That's the current flowing in this direction. Plus VB minus 0 divided by 4000 so that's just VB divided by 4000 plus VB minus VC divided by 4000 also equals 0. Similarly I get KCL at node C VC minus 0 divided by 4000 that's going to be the current going down through that 4 kilo ohm resistor and then i have vc minus vb divided by 4000 as well and then of course i have vc minus va divided by 2000 
for the current that is flowing in the outer loop uh, that equals zero so i've got three equations here label them equation one two and three and this set of equations can be solved very easily by using elimination and back substitution um, so that is when you're doing this by hand or you could very easily and quickly use MATLAB or a calculator to uh, solve these linear equations. Uh, now on the next slide I've taken up the those equations that I derived on the previous slide and essentially simplified them so that I can plug these into a matrix. So this is the system of linear equations that I've obtained by applying KCL at those three nodes. And now I'm going to represent this system of linear equations in a form of a matrix multiplication operation. So I can write matrix uh, forms as AX equals B, and this is matrix multiplication here, where A is my matrix which has elements minus 4, minus 1, minus 1, negative 2, positive 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, and plus 4. So those are my known coefficients of B, V, A, V, B, and V, C. So I'm going to write that over here. A is, in this case, a square matrix with my first row being negative 4, negative 1, negative 1, that's for the first equation, my second row being negative 2, 4, negative 1, my third row being negative 2, negative 1, and 4, so this is three rows and three columns at the square matrix for A. X, of course, is a column vector, in this case, it's a column vector of unknowns, VA, VB, and VC column vector number of rows is one number of columns sorry this is backwards number of rows is three and number of columns is one so that's a column vector B is all the values or constants that I have on the right side of this equation in this case 10, 0, and 0. Also, a 3 by 1 column vector. So just for the sake of clarity, let me highlight these in green, which go over here. And then, of course, I have all the unknowns going in the vector x. Those correspond to those three. So I've set up my uh, matrix manipulation here, AX equals B. I know A, I know B, I do not know X. So in order to get X, I need to do matrix inversion. So X should equal inverse of A multiplied by B. Now you could do this using determinants or in MATLAB, you can perform this operation using the I and V function. And this is one of the things that I will talk about in uh, a different video. And once you do that, you should get three values of X. And if you solve this correctly, they should be 3.75, 2.5, and 2.5. Of course, it is 3 by 1. So that means that I've got PA as 3.75 volts and this is my second unknown VB as 2.5 volts and this is my third unknown again as 2.5 volts so the one thing that you can note here is VB is the same as VC which means that if there was a resistor between nodes B and C because they have the same potential no current is going to flow through that particular resistor between nodes B and C so if I go back all the way and look at node B and I look at node C, this 4 kilo ohm resistor is not going to have any current flowing through it because these two nodes are at the same potential. 
So if the question was, you apply nodal analysis to find the current flowing through resistor 4 kilo ohm, uh, and they point to this particular resistor, you would find that to be a zero. All right, I hope this is uh, a comprehensive example uh, taking you through how to develop linear equations, a system of linear equations for each node and then uh, solving it either by hand or by using uh, a MATLAB.